Whoa, what is this voodoo magic? I'm in focus? I'm not overexposed? I'm in the middle of the camera? How is that possible? Watch the video and find out. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and today I'm gonna show you an awesome application for your Android device that allows you to interface your Android device with your Canon DSLR camera. It's going to be a game changer for the channel. As you guys know, most of my videos that I record, I have a lot of problems with keeping things in focus, getting the audio right, um, keeping things in frame when I'm doing stuff with my hands on close-ups, being centered on the camera, for instance. Lots of problems. So anyways, my friend, uh, who's also a YouTube producer, Jay's Two Cents, which you can see his channel right up here if you want to go take a look at it. Um, I also have a link in the description. He turned me on to an application for Android called DSLR Controller. Now, it's an application that's in beta. You can download it from the Google uh, App Store. It's about $7.99 or $8, at least it is right now. And it's worth every penny. I'm running it right now. As you can see, here's my original Google Nexus 7, actually made by Asus. And it's connected with an adapter cable that I picked up off Monoprices. I'll also have a link to that in the description. Cheap little cable and it allows you to connect a USB cable directly from this device to the camera. Now the app is so good, you pretty much just open up the app with this cable plugged in and it takes full control of the camera. As you can see right here, I don't know if I can get that light off of it. Uh, if I wanna focus, all I have to do is touch the screen and it'll focus anywhere where I tell it to. Uh, for my face, you just click on my face here. It's going to go ahead and pull focus in on my face. Razor sharp. And I can see everything that's going on with the audio. There's a little audio histogram down here. It tells me exactly if I'm clipping or if I'm coming close to clipping. Um, I can change my aperture and every setting on the camera on the fly. And that makes this pretty much priceless. So from now on, when I do my video unboxings, I can check the exposure. I can check my lighting, everything from exactly where I'm sitting while I'm doing stuff in real time. And that's gonna be a huge, huge game changer to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy the future videos from this. I hope if you have a DSLR yourself that you go try this app out. Um, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get some close-ups of the device and show you where to download it from the App Store. And I'm also gonna show you um, some of the functionality that it has. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next frame. All I gotta do is push that button to stop recording. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download the DSLR controller app from the App Store. So let's go ahead and open up Google Play. And we'll just do a search for DSLR. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them, but the one that you want is DSLR controller beta. This one right here, that's the money. So I already have it installed on this one, but once you come here, just go ahead and click the install button and you'll be good to go. Now once you've done that, you open the DSLR app. But the cool thing about this is it's plug and play. So right now, if I plug the cable, which I have right here. So here's the cable adapter for the Android device that you can pick up on Monoprice or some other sites. Go ahead and plug that in. Get the tilt right here. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna plug it into the camera and show you just what happens. Okay, as soon as you plug the camera in, it automatically opens up the DSLR controller app, which is awesome. That means that you could mount this to, uh, to a rig, and every time you turn your camera on, it's automatically gonna turn this device on and go right into the application, which I think is absolutely cool. And I do have confirmation that it works on the Nexus 7, and it also works on the new Nexus 7, so the old and the new generation. Um, very easy to set up, it didn't give me any problems. You can see, you can see the battery life of the camera down here. It's funny, it's like Inception, you can see my finger going back and forth here <laughs> a little bit of leg but not bad um but you can control literally everything right now i have the camera set to aperture priority so you can see certain things are uh not available so if you want to change an option you just touch the screen once well that's for focus but let's see there's all kinds of settings you can do here you can even change the aperture uh depending on which mode the camera's in you can change a bunch of that stuff you can even go into the menu and change tons of other options on the camera. So it's actually quite verbose. And in some of the modes, you can even zoom in um, or change the aspect ratio of the video that you're recording. It also shows you a histogram over here. So if you wanna make sure that you're not peeking, you can see I'm peeking in a couple of the color channels. 
but it's incredibly easy to use and very intuitive. And I love it because you have an audio meter. You can put an extended USB cable on it and use it from across the room, which makes it like really, really good. That's what I'm going to be using it for. So let's go ahead and take it for a little bit of a test drive. So for instance, let's go ahead and zoom out the lens. And there is my, my setup here. We'll even look down at the desk here. So now you can see I have this up. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the mouse to focus on the mouse. Now I pulled focus to the mouse. Now I want to pull focus to the screen. I'm in a little too close for the lens. There we go. Now we're focused on the screen. I'm going to focus on the Xbox. And it's really that simple to use. Touch the screen to have focus. You can see zoom in. Get the crazy inception stuff going on. But the keyboard, for instance, all I have to do is touch the screen to focus. And it pulls focus quite well. So now I have a really easy way using this as my controller to start and stop my recording, set all the settings, get everything just right so that I'm not overexposed and focus on me properly. So that's awesome. All right, this is what the cable looks like that goes to the Nexus. It's got a little proprietary end on it and it's got a USB connector on it. And that can be picked up for Monoprice. Just check the description and I'll have a link there for you. Other than that, that's all you need is the app, that, and a Nexus or another compatible uh, device, and you're good to go. Well, guys, that about covers it. That's the DSLR controller app using the Google Nexus 7 with the USB adapter cable. It couldn't be easier to set up and use, and it's going to make a huge drastic change to my channel. because I use a Canon 5D Mark III to record, and my biggest problem, as I'd mentioned in this video, is keeping things in frame, in focus, and keeping them from being overexposed. Now I can actually see myself while I'm recording and that allows me to sit here and adjust the settings and get everything just the way I want and then I can just set this guy over here on my desk which will be nice because I can just set it on my desk at a frame and record the video and that way I can glance over and I can make sure that I have everything properly in frame while I'm doing it. So you guys should see a huge improvement in my video quality moving forward. Lighting, on the other hand, I uh, still got a little work to do to get that worked out, <laughs> as you guys can tell. So, guys, I hope they gave you a nerdgasm. It's a really cool thing. I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. It does work with other Canon cameras. So if you have a Canon, I think it's like a Rebel or some of the other ones, um, it should work for you just fine. Uh, and you just need an Android device. You don't even need a Google, uh, or you know, you don't need the Google Nexus. Um, you can use any Android device that actually has a USB adapter or a USB plug on it. So, guys... Take it easy and expect some better videos. Till next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Suck dick, buddy. No, you suck a dick. Oh, I sucked a dick. I'm not going to lie. The Imperator is a mouse feels more comfortable. This, this steep arch on the back. Um, definitely is going to take some getting used to. I'm not used to having my hands so arced. Uh, the Imperator is more low profile. But still, all things considered, it's so much smoother. And I think it's because it has so many feet on the bottom of it.